Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Alex's Artwork, and in this episode of Alex's Artwork, I am going to show you my artwork that I created when I was studying graphic design at Cal State Fullerton in the entertainment design class. So this is one of many posters uh, in my entertainment uh, uh, design class and this is in a my version of the Ice Age the Meltdown movie poster uh, you can always do a Google search and see the original Ice Age uh, the Meltdown um, Ice Age the Meltdown um, movie pa uh, poster and compare this to what I created um, basically uh, what I did was to recreate the whole thing uh, what I see fit best and implement the and implement the design that I saw from other movie poster and take inspiration and incorporate to this one. So we'll start we'll start at the top. Can they survive the meltdown? Uh, that is the tagline that I created, and and a fun fact about this um, about this class, the entertainment uh, design class that one of my professor in that design class used to work for Fox. Yeah, that is right, Fox Studios. And she had the assets when she was working at Fox in creating these uh, movie, uh, in creating these uh, movies, movie posters and other uh, design. So this is what I got the assets from. And this is from uh, fonts. You, know, you can always uh, customize these fonts to mimic the original title font and great thing about Photoshop is that you can uh, tr try your best to mimic the font uh, of this title treatment Ice Age to Meltdown this is, uh, this is uh, the original um, PNG file uh, for Ice Age to Meltdown that I have and uh, it was my job to uh, try to mimic the tagline so here are my uh, layer files in Photoshop. Uh, movie posters that I created are in Photoshop. Uh, other times that I would use um, Adobe Illustrator is when I have to vectorize things. It, but since uh, when you're in Photoshop, you're dealing with pixels. So here, um, these two are the building block, which has the producer titles, actors, and directors. And... Um, this was done in Adobe Adobe Illustrator and transferred onto um, Photoshop. That is right. It, it is a s vector uh, smart object. And as you can see uh, in the middle, um, as you can see from the logo, um, behind the logo, uh, behind the two acorns, uh, these are individual assets between the... Um, behind those assets is this iceberg and look at this this was uh, one single image and I duplicated the iceberg uh, and tried to mimic um, tried to create a new asset of my own of how the characters are floating one iceberg um, towards the viewer going towards the viewer that was my intent so if you put the uh, uh, title treatment back visible, and you can see that it hides the visual design flaws of my Photoshop job. So here's the background. And what's great about the background is that you can change any background and, and adjust it to your own liking that you see fit. This is a super big uh, background that you can, uh, as you can see here, and you can always resize the image and the reason why I have this uh, resized as large as possible is that I want to uh, incorporate the visual depth. That is right. Um, the reason why I increased the background image on behind the characters is I want to uh, emphasize the uh, visual depth uh, between the characters and the background that looks to be falling uh, towards you not backwards so I just want to create some uh, static movement and that 
is possible in design terms. I just want to create something that moves towards you, and that was my intent in designing these um, movie poster. So here in, in the background, you can see the Ice Age, all that stuff. And um, yeah, so this is one of, of many movie posters that I created. Uh, stay tuned uh, on my YouTube channel if you want to look, check out more. I remember doing a, a movie poster for uh, Iron Man, Iron Man, uh, Rocky Balboa, uh, Rocky, and there are many more. Uh, Castaway, uh, Castaway movie posters look similar to this one. I can't wait to share you um, my uh, movie posters if you're interested. If you are interested, so another fun fact about this um, is that this visual asset that you see here, this one single visual asset, this was uh, uh, masked from a photo. So this this is not a PNG file, as you can see here. You can see my uh, design flaw that it's not that super clean, but. I uh, tried my best to do whatever I can to make it a clear-cut masked uh, image. Um, and it's one of my... I tried my best to do what I can to make it look uh, like a transparent file without the background that was masked from. So, um, yeah, so that is my um, visual design for the Ice Age the Meltdown poster. Uh, there are many other um, uh, movie posters that, that I created and other design assets that I created. And I hope you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to um, know more of what I did there in this entertainment design class. So that's about it. If you like this video, please give this video a huge thumbs up. Comment in the comment section below on, you, on what you think about this design. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Be sure to get my other YouTube content that is on this channel. And thank you for watching um, Alex's artwork. And I will definitely see you on the next one.